Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, we're going to look at MCP on OpenAI Playground, right? MCP has arrived on OpenAI Playground and now it's very easy, you know, for non-engineers, non-developers, non-programmers, whatever you call it, right? To experience MCP and build, you know, automated workflows on OpenAI Playground, right? And I assume like most of you have access to OpenAI Playground. Now, now, once MCP server is available through Playground, you can connect with Japier, you can connect with GitHub, you can connect with PayPal and so on and so forth, right? That's what we're going to look at in this video. So if you look at here on my screen, I'm on OpenAI Playground, right? And uh, this is how the Playground looks like if you haven't seen uh, yet. And if you don't have a Playground access, get it. Just go to platform.openai.com slash Playground. And of course, you this is you need... Uh, you know, you can also get free tokens, but yeah, it's better if you have a credit card behind it uh, to work completely. Now, you have to click on the tools. Look at here on the left-hand side, I'm on prompts, right? Uh, there are images, there are real time, there are this, that, blah, blah, blah. We are interested in prompts because it's available on OpenAI Responses API. Uh, that's where the MCP servers are available via tool. Now, if you look at here, the models, here you can select multiple model. And we have GPT 4.1 as a default model. And here you can ask questions. Like, let's say I ask, what is AI, right? And on the playground, you can ask any kind of questions you want to ask. And of course, you will find out the answers, you know, using GPT 4.1 or whatever model that you have selected with the inference parameters those are, those are listed over here. Now, of course, you can set up some system messages. You know, you can also do that if you, if you are working with some specific uh, huge cases. You can also get some code, you know, from here. If you click on the code, it will give you a Python snippet or a C URL or curl snippet that you can use it uh, in your application that you are building. You can also compare different models and the responses. You can get the history and you have the responses API over here. You can see there are two types of API, chat completions API and the responses API. Now tools, MCP server, if you click it on, click it on here on this plus icon, within tools, you can find out MCP server, function, file search, web search, core interpreter, image generation. So everything is getting integrated within OpenAI. And I think some of you who are working in this field stop working on building the similar stuff because OpenAI will anyway build it. If you are trying to do some kind of you know venture or something, make sure that you do it in a very niche field where OpenAI cannot like, you know, uh, come into immediately, like you can create a mode or a differentiator, right? Which is very, uh, which should be very difficult to kind of replicate. That's what you should do. Now, click on the MCP server. If you look at here on this MCP server, you can also add new, if you click, or click it on here, you can also add your own MCP server uh, that we're gonna do in the future video. Here you find out Japier, Shopify, Intercom, Stripe, Plate, which is of course, uh, uh, banking APIs that we get, right? Square, PayPal, these are all payments. Stripe, they're all payments, right? Deep Wiki by Devine, whatever we call it, and HubSpot, CRM tool. Now, Deep Wiki and Japier is something that I'm really interested in. You have Intercom as well, but yeah, you can try it out and you can also bring up your own if you want. Let's click on Deep Wiki for a while and you can see it says connect to uh, Deep Wiki, Devine MCP, MCP dot deepwiki.com slash mcp read deep wiki for repo explore wiki structure ask questions about repo if you click on connect you can see it says establishing connection that's going to take a bit of time when you do that right it says mcp dot deepwiki.com slash mcp that's where the remote mcp server is right for deep wiki and it's it's you can see it's done uh, authentication if you click on it access token api key you can do that approval always required approval blah 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 and if you add it over here, let's say we add this, right? We you can see we have added deep wiki. Let's go on, like uh, let's come here, let's copy this. I'm gonna say create a report on this GitHub repo. And of course, you can see it's using deep wiki, but the problem is I'll show you. Let me first list tools, right. If I click here and show you deep wiki, you can see AI documentation. You can talk for your every repo, right? Powered by Divine, which repo you'd like to add, right? And the thing is, you can see repo name. If I click on approve, 
right? You can find out all these repos over here. So we can work with these repos, right? Uh, that's coming, but let's try it out. I want to just see if that is indexed or not. So we'll just wait for it. You can see it says, uh, does not have a public wiki because we don't have one. So I just wanted to show you that it will not work out, but that should be completely fine. Let's come over here and uh, take one of the listed ones. So what we're gonna do is, uh, maybe we can try it out. Uh, let's try it something interesting here. Playwright, yeah, playwright is fine. Let's take playwright, right? So we can, we can probably work with, you can see they have a wiki, you know, over here. Fantastic. Deep wiki. And I want to go back here once. Uh, add repo. And we can add repo. And uh, we can, you know, we can bring our own repo. So let's say if we bring our own repo over here, you know, enter, enter the URL. And if you find out, you can see the repository, of course, don't have any any wiki over here repository not indexed the repository has been indexed indexing allows to explore code structure find and of course this is going to take time so you can do it of course uh, if you want to do that but that should be completely fine you can see we have vs code we have this we have that what not right fantastic uh to where we where did playwright okay let's see if i come here and playwright i can we can just get from github also okay right but let's try it out Try it out with right uh, playwright Microsoft, and of course it will automatically get it the GitHub uh, repository because Microsoft slash playwright is the GitHub uh, repository for playwright, and it's able to get it. So you can see it says read wiki structure. That's what it's reading right now over here on uh using the mcp tool and you can see it's create a outline or documentation because we ask it to create a report right for this particular uh repository right and you can see it's it's doing its stuff right now it's going to create it i'm also really interested in you know uh japier maybe you can you can explore that uh it's asked for interior japier key maybe i'll just take a key and then of course uh course get rid of it but okay first let me show you you know you can see it has it has created this report right fantastic and you don't have any coding experience so you like you don't have to kind of you know go into very detailed programming and stuff to build or experience mcp or if you know you build tools with mcp right you can you can do it with uh uh, open AI playground, you know, if you have access to open AI playground, because you see in the end of the day, you would like to build some kind of automation. So you're building or you are doing freelancing or solving some kind of problems for your clients. In the end, you want to achieve something right. And, and that's, that should be the goal. Now, uh, if you click on MCP server and Japier, you can see it's get API key. It will take you to Japier and make sure that, uh, these are automatically selected, create MCP server. And you can see it over here. Uh, we have this, uh, added to add a tool yeah we can add tools uh you know of course this will require some kind of integrations and so on and so forth now but this is how you can also do it you know you have different on japier if you haven't worked with japier mcp japier is a as a uh, no code automation platform where you can create workflows right more like an rpa uh you know that's where they started from right they started from an rpa and then now they have working with all these cutting edge mcps and whatnot now you can connect if you click on connect you can get over the api keys over here right uh you can copy the secret uh and you can find it out over here you can also use it but yeah you can play around it guys you know you can put your uh, japier key here connect and it says says establishing connection sometimes uh, i'm just gonna say i'm gonna say add and you can see japier has been added right now i'm not gonna go deep into japier but next thing what you can do is let's say con to configure you have to add tools you can like say let's say do google docs and add all google docs to and you know create document from template upload document or you can just do add all google Do connect it's asked me to connect i'm just gonna let's say connect here you know with my uh gmail sometimes it breaks breaks you know sometimes it might not work i have seen it but then you have to restart it always go and uh uh end this particular session that you are using and then i can come back okay 
Uh, now you can see what your M3 Food Server can do across 8,000 apps. We have all over these things done, right? Let's come here and let's say uh, I had I had a problem. I just want to use the same thingy over here. So I'll just save some time. Please transcribe the survey results into Google Docs. Please transcribe the re results. Please transcribe the playwright. Excuse me. I wrote the spelling wrong for playwright. Please transcribe the playwright report results into Google Docs and save them. Now you can see it's, it's giving Zapier list tools and you can see nothing, right? And it will not work out uh, because it's not able to fetch it. But yeah, you see currently it cannot save Google Docs due to privacy and permission restrictions. However, I can guide, yeah, I think that should be fine. So we have to do some configurations, you know, over here, uh, connect, but you're gonna play around. Uh, that should be fine. All right, this is how you guys can connect even more uh, server, guys. You can bring our own server. In the in the coming videos, we'd like to uh, add our own MCP server. You can see connect to MCP server. You know, you can have your own URL and label. And I think I had, can we do it through uh, PyP? I have to check it out. Uh, we can use, let's say we have Glama, right, for MCP. If you come to Glamour, right, you can find out all the MCP repositories. Now you can find it out over here. Uh, I think I have to log in or something. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you can find out all your MCP servers. Let's let's say you want to add Tavili over here, right? And you can find out uh, Tavili search. And of course, you need an API key to work with. But you can again use this uh, remote server. In order to, you can see to install uh, for Cloud Desktop. This is how they can use it, and you can also use it through remote server as well. Right, you can find out all the things that you need. I also had an MCP wiki on IP. I'm not sure if that's the name. Uh, yeah, this is the video that I created here on Goose. Um, but anyway, I don't want to waste time. But yeah, that's how you guys can add your own. Uh, if you want to bring it up, bring it up over here. But Divine was like working fine. There's something wrong with Japier list tools. You can see add tools, edit tools, add tools, and the let me know if you able to make it uh, in the comment box. I hope you got an idea that how you can use or experience MCP completely without writing a single line of code. It's so like, you know, so uh, no code, low code nowadays. Uh, it's and you can you can easily able to make it. If you have any questions, thoughts or feedbacks, please let me know in the comment box. You guys can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. Right. Also visit our newly launched website called AIAnytime.net, N-E-T. Okay. We also have uh, working on community driven projects, research work. We have, a, we have published a paper through community called MCP Guardian for MCP security. Uh, I'm gonna cover that in coming videos. And we have uh, internship options available if someone wants to you know, partner with us. This is completely not for profit. Uh, please check that out and reach out to me through LinkedIn or WhatsApp or however possible. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in the near future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.